Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's take a look at what's been making news. A spectacular volcano eruption, an update on the floods in New South Wales, and some skiing skills you've got to see to believe. But before we get started, hit subscribe. For the first time in thousands of years, a massive volcano right by Iceland's capital has erupted, turning the sky into a real-life lava lamp. So far, no one's been injured, but some spectacular images have been captured. This drone vision by Bjorn Steinbeck is going viral right now. And it's not hard to see why. For more than 6,000 years, the Fagradals mountain volcano in Iceland has been dormant. But now it has certainly come to life. Since Friday, it's been spewing lava into the sky, with an orange glow spotted more than 30 k's away in Iceland's capital Reykjavik. Locals have flocked to the mountain just to get a glimpse of the spectacle and even cook a quick meal. Hmm, nature's stove. But authorities have warned people to stay well away from the thousand degree burning lava. Fair enough, I guess. Scientists say eruptions in this area are super rare, but after weeks of small earthquakes, a lot of molten rock or magma had found its way to the surface and eventually spewed out as lava. Luckily, there hasn't been any ash coming from the volcano, so it's not expected to stop planes or cause any chaos like this Icelandic volcano back in 2010. But gee, I tell you what, I'm not sure anyone expected something of this magnitude. Mag magnitude. The New South Wales flood emergency has continued to cause massive problems around the state. Overnight, parts of New South Wales experienced their biggest downpour in decades, and today some locals were ordered to evacuate their homes and head to a safe place. More than 150 schools remain closed, major roads are still blocked around the state, and more than 850 people have been rescued by emergency services in just the past two days. It's now been one year since COVID-19 was declared a pandemic and Australians got their first taste of a lockdown. We ask kids about how their lives have changed since then. It might seem hard to believe that this was a year ago. Stay at home or people will die. But what once seemed weird now feels kind of normal. Well, a year ago, I didn't know what this was. Now you see people wearing masks, you think, okay, that's just caution. Yeah, we've all become pretty obsessed with hygiene and staying away from each other. When you're waiting in line at Woolies, like to really keep your distance. And if someone sneezes, we look suspiciously. <laughs> Travel became a lot harder. Obviously, there's hundreds and thousands of people who can't see their family. Uh, the borders were shutting down one day, opening the next day, so that was probably very hard for some people. Although we didn't travel far, we've been Zooming everywhere. Yeah, remote learning, like Zoom, WebEx, Teams, all that stuff I didn't even know existed. Yeah, we've learned a lot of new words. A year on and the pandemic is certainly not over. But with vaccines rolling out, things are more hopeful than a year ago. Although we may be like physically apart, virtually we're all connected and we're all together. These next stories are hard to put in a box. All I can say is you're not going to believe it. Or maybe you will. Meet Sophia, the humanoid robot who knows how to wield a paintbrush. Sophia's creators have got her in on the NFT bandwagon with her first piece, this digital artwork, up for auction on Wednesday. I am excited and hope the world likes my artwork. In what many are hoping is a world first for AI and NFTs, I'm hoping is a world last. Ugh. This video feels way too much like I'm watching a video game. French speed rider Valentin Deluc flexed his skills at this abandoned ski resort in France. Launching off rooftops, nicking bridges and flying through an igloo, it really is impressive. You've got to see it to believe it. 
And speaking of things you gotta see to believe, Ian from Tasmania captured this incredible time lapse of the Aurora Australis. Auroras like this are caused by solar winds from the sun crashing into gases in the Earth's atmosphere. I've never seen the lights in real life, but whenever I see videos like this, I really, really want to. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. In the meantime, hit subscribe. We'll be back again tomorrow. See you then.